Get your travel facts here. Welcome to Travel Plans. My name is Dean. I just wanted to say hi. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm trying to improve and make sure that you the viewer are getting the information you're looking for. I'd love to hear from you with some suggestions for new places to visit. So please comment and send me your requests. If you like this video please subscribe, share, like and hit notifications, as I publish new videos every other day. Bye for now. I hope to hear from you soon. Interesting facts about the Solomons. An island nation located in Oceania, the Solomon Islands, consisting of around 992 islands, atolls and reefs. Choisel, Guadalcanal, Malaita, Makira, New Georgia and Santa Isabel are the six major islands. Just 347 of the Solomon Islands are populated, inhabiting the islands for as long as 50,000 years. Papuan-speaking hunter-gatherers from New Guinea were the first settlers of the Solomon Islands. Before Austronesian-speaking early Melanesians began arriving about 4000 BC. Around 3000 years ago, between 2000 and 1600 BC, the Lapita people arrived in the Solomon Islands. Alvaro de Mendana a Spaniard arrived in 1568. He was the first European to explore the islands. Mendana named the islands after the legendary King Solomon's mines, believing that gold was on the islands. The British Solomon Islands Protectorate was declared in 1893 after the Solomon Islands were colonized by the UK in the 19th century. The Solomon Islands were occupied by Japan in 1942, during the Second World War. There was extensive fighting, especially during the Battle of Guadalcanal. British rule was restored after the Japanese forces were eventually forced from the islands by the Allies in 1945. Due to the Second World War, there are numerous submarine, ship and aircraft wrecks. Now, the islands are a popular scuba diving destination. As a reminder of when he was marooned in the Solomon Islands in 1943, after his boat sank, U.S. President John F. Kennedy kept a coconut shell in the Oval Office. Kennedy Island, it was to this island that the crew commanded by then-Lieutenant Kennedy, swam after their craft was rammed and sunk. He and his crew were rescued by two Solomon Islanders named Eroni Kamana and Bayuku Gasa. The Solomon Islands became self-governing in 1976, before receiving complete independence from the UK in 1978. With around 95% of people practicing a religion, the Solomon Islands are mostly Christian, splitting even further down into Seventh-day Adventism. Roman Catholicism and Anglican, you'll even find people worshipping the Assembly of God and Baha'i Faith. The Solomon Islands were among several Pacific Islands to suffer from blackbirding in the late 19th century. This was the practice of kidnapping natives to use as forced labor on plantations in Australia and Fiji. The practice ended about 1872. Approximately 30,000 laborers from the Solomon Islands were recruited between 1870 and 1910. Only around 1 to 2 percent of the local population speak English. Despite being an official language, there are about 120 indigenous languages spoken on the Solomon Islands. Prince Charles from the UK visited the Solomon Islands in 2019, he delighted a crowd of Solomon Islanders by speaking to them in pidgin. He said me happy visiting to place Blong you fella. A species of giant rat capable of opening coconuts was discovered in the Solomons in 2017. Their existence could not be proven for decades, until one fell from a tree in 2015 and was caught. 
173 bird species exist in the Solomons, 69 of which cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Dense rainforest covers about 90% of the Solomon Islands. Scuba divers adore the Solomon Islands. It is here they find the largest saltwater lagoon on Earth. Called the Marovo Lagoon, it is thought to measure 700 square kilometers. The Solomons, of course, make most of their income from the fishing trade. They also make money from mining and timber felling, exporting palm oil, as well as harvesting coconuts and palm kernels. The Solomons culture is very diverse and is influenced and affected by a huge variety of Oceanian tribal customs and societies. They are proud to continue following customs and traditions which have weathered time. Thanks guys for joining me on this journey around the Solomon Islands, collecting some interesting fun facts. I hope to make a return journey sometime. Please let me know if you'd like to know more about the Solomons or any other destination. Goodbye for now and see you soon. Subscribe notifications like comment share see you next time